Let's look at the Hulk brick heads, Marvel Lego collaboration doohicker. Uh, this one's going to be interesting because of the arm pieces. It's going to be different from the uh, the any of the other ones in the entire range. I'm pretty sure maybe the Beast has a, has a different arm configuration. Not 100 percent certain. Um, 93 pieces, so on par with uh, with Iron Man's 96, more than Captain America pieces. Um, and again, the head should be interesting as well, because it's not just going to be the flat top. But let us get this open here and see what is going on, if I can even push the, the pushy thingy. There we go. I'm assuming we're going to have two bags, a loose base piece, and the instructions, which are going to do the weird foldy flappy thingy. Do, do, do. We have instructions doing the weird folding flappy thingy. Fantastic. That is what we expect. Base piece and two bags, smallish bits and largest bits. It looks like again it's going to use the same construction for the head, uh, which you know is across this entire range. They're basically the same model, just with different skins. Kind of makes sense to be doing that. Anyway. Let's get it built and see what it looks like. Alright, if you want black cheese slopes, this is the guy for you. There are 18 on this model, including a spare, so, 20, so 19 in total. That's a lot of black cheese slopes, but the hair is freaking awesome. You wouldn't want to step on it, it hurts, <laughs> but it looks cool. Very much like that. I enjoy the little fisticuffs too. Uh, same eyepiece as Captain America, but I believe that's same across the range. Again, same internal structure as well. And same bits, basic starting blocks of the building, really. I do like the uh, printed chest pieces there. Those are quite cute. Um, but yeah, just the hair alone on this model is really cool. And then, again, more attention to the detail with the uh, with the brow is, is nice as well. Quite like it. Uh, but again, it's it's... The same thing with all these brick heads, is what's the point in the base? It just tells you it's from series one, and honestly, like most Lego collectible kind of series, apart from the minifigures, but things like the mini Star Wars uh, planet ones, they did three series, um, like Lego races come out with like maybe 16 cars in total, stuff like that. There's only going to be probably a handful of these brickheads, I'm assuming. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll be proved wrong and there'll be like, this number will eventually get to double digits. I don't think so. And I just wish like you could put the Hulk and... Brickhead Series 1 on it, for example. You could just do so much more. Or, like, include... Make it two studs wider, so you've got the full space in the front. Make the whole thing flat. The base just seems kind of pointless. And I would almost prefer it to be in the style of the, uh, the collectible minifigure bases, where it is just basically flat and a little place for the minifigure to stand. You could do that kind of thing here, just have it flat, have a little place for this guy to stand, basically the same configuration, just have a flat black there, and two flat blacks on the side. I think it would look better. Honestly, it would just be like having an oversized collectible minifigure. The way it is, you have just this 
eye-catching, honestly. It's bright red, it's sharp lines and stuff. Logo, which is just really the logo of the series and the number one. It, oh. Even if it was just the head in the middle, maybe it might just be better. I don't know. It just, it seems pointless to me. But the models are, themselves are, are quite nice. <laughs>